Hi, I'm Jim Bones with Cure Zone Broadcasting. An American man who has been given a new face, teeth, tongue and join what his surgeons say is the most extensive facial transplant ever performed. Richard Lee Norris, 37, has spent the past 15 years living as a recluse, wearing a mask to hide the severe injuries he received from a near-fatal gun accident. Since then, he has had multiple life-saving and reconstructive surgeries but none could repair him to the extent where he felt he could return to society. He wore a prosthetic nose and a mask even when entering the hospital for the transplant. The surgery is the culmination of 10 years of research funded by the Department of Defense Office of Naval Research and will serve as a model for helping war veterans injured by improvised explosive devices in Afghanistan. Surgeons now hope they can soon begin operating on military patients wounded in Iraq and Afghanistan. Mr. Norris' operation, performed at the University of Maryland's Medical Center, took 36 hours to complete. His new face came from an anonymous donor whose organs saved five other patients' lives on the same day, and six days after the surgery he can already move his tongue and open and to close his eyes. Doctors say he is recovering much faster than expected. He's actually looking in the mirror shaving and brushing his teeth, which we never even expected, said Dr. Eduardo Rodriguez, the head of the hospital's transplant team. He put the mirror down and thanked me and hugged me, Dr. Rodriguez said. When Mr. Norris opened his eyes on the third day after the surgery with his family around him, he wanted to see a mirror. We concealed all the lines so it would give him the most immediate best appearance with minimal touch-ups down the road, Dr. Rodriguez said later in an interview. To ensure Mr. Norris would retain maximum function of his facial expressions and movements, doctors gave him a new tongue for proper speech, eating, and chewing, normally aligned teeth, and connected his nerves to allow for smiling. The surgery marks the first time a full-face transplant recipient in the United States has retained their eyesight. The dean of the university's school of medicine, Dr. E. Albert Reese, is hailing the operation an amazing feat. It's also an unprecedented and historic procedure that we believe will change, if you will, the face of medicine now and in the future, Dr. Reese said. About 100 doctors, scientists and other university medical staff ranging from plastic surgeons to craniofacial specialists teamed up for the operation. Before the surgery, Mr. Norris, who is unmarried and lives with his parents in a rural area, had been unable to find a job because of his appearance, a hospital spokeswoman said. The first such operation was performed in France in 2005 on a woman who was mauled by her dog. The University of Maryland's transplant research has been funded by the United States Navy. The operation follows successful face transplants in Fort Worth, Texas and Boston, Massachusetts, last year. Thanks for watching this Your Zone broadcasting. Special thanks to Ab Reuters. Stay well.